The lethal coronavirus which originated first in China has consumed Europe. Countries in Western Europe have surpassed even China in the number of infections and deaths caused by it. France, Spain and Italy combined have more than 286,000 people suffering because of COVID-19. The deadly virus which affects the respiratory system of human beings has killed close to 30,000 people in just these three countries. Italy, which was the highest number of deaths, is seeing some positive signs now. Despite being the country with the second highest number of infections in the world, Italy has started to see a decrease in the number of cases with severe and grave symptoms. In the last 24 hours, only 18 new patients were hospitalized into the intensive care unit. However, the situation in Italy still remains serious, with more than 115,000 being tested positive and with the virus killing nearly 14,000 people so far. Away from Italy, Spain's death toll has now crossed 10,000, making it the second country with the most number of deaths. A record of 950 people died overnight in Madrid, the capital, but health officials were positive because of a slowdown in the number of daily cases being reported. There has also been an 8 percentage increase in the number of positive cases and over 10 percentage increase in the death toll in Spain. Spain is looking for a glimpse of hope as the peak of the curve has started to fall and it is very likely that the cases would now stabilize. But the West European country continues to face shortages of medical supplies and protective gear. In an attempt to solve that crisis, a conference center was converted into a makeshift hospital in capital Madrid to attend to 1,000 coronavirus patients. The center, which hosted the United Nations Climate Change Conference last year, is now a hospital with 1,500 beds and 16 intensive care units. El Hospital de IFEMA ya tiene operativas eh, todas sus posibilidades, desde las 1.500 camas, de las cuales hay ocupadas ya más de 1.000. Eh, se están produciendo altas y se están produciendo ingresos eh, diariamente. Y además tenemos las 16 eh, camas de, de UCI eh, ya instaladas, con dos pacientes en este caso. El resto de, de los servicios, eh, desde el punto de vista sanitario, tanto radiología como laboratorio, están funcionando. The increase in the number of deaths caused by COVID-19 has forced a morgue in the city of Barcelona in Spain to extend its own parking lot to fit all the coffins that people have ordered. Coffins are being piled up in the morgues. Two-level parking space as more and more people continue to place orders. The total death toll of Spain is over 10,300. This warehouse is now uh, equipped for um, nearly 2,000 uh, coffins, but we have the possibility to, to increase the capacity here and in other big funeral homes uh, we have around the city. So at the end, the capacity will be very, very high. In the last 24 hours, France reported 2,116 positive cases of COVID-19 and 1,335 new deaths, which includes 884 deaths in nursing homes that occurred over the weeks. Deaths related to COVID-19 has been on a steady rise in France with 12 percentage increase. The death toll is now more than 5,300. And to date, over 59,105 are confirmed with the infection. With a growing number of infections, France also said that it is facing severe shortages of life support systems to treat patients. Je termine par les résultats des tests. Vous savez que ces tests sont confirmés par PCR et donc nous avons ce soir, selon Santé publique France, 59 105 tests confirmés. The lethal coronavirus, which was first detected in China's Wuhan, has spread exponentially across continents, infecting more than a million people and killing over 53,200 people worldwide.